take a look at the final example. Um, we have, once again, a volume of a solid generated by rotating uh, some area bound by some curves. So we have y equals x here. So y equals x, and y equals 2x, so from 0 to 5. So we don't care about anything outside of that bound. So it's going to be this region. Y equals x, 2x. And it's going to be this region rotated about the x-axis. So it's going to look something like this. So it looks kind of like a hollowed out cone. Right, we're looking for the area of this section. So now let's draw our cylinder and let's draw it right here in the middle so it's nice and clear to see. You see that this cylinder has an infinitesimally small shell thickness, and it has a radius defined by just x. So the radius is defined by x, or since x equals y, it's defined by y, and this height is defined by this curve, which is x minus this curve, which is 2x. So x minus 2x. But since we're going to be integrating in terms of y, we might want to switch everything to terms of y. So x minus 2y, which equals y minus y over 2. So if we take these two equations and replace and flip the x and y terms around, get x equals y over 2. All right, so now we have a radius, and now we have a height. And let's go ahead and try to apply the formula. Volume equals 2 pi from, well, we know that in the x direction it goes from 0 to 5, but we, we are not sure how far up it goes in the y direction. Uh, so thickness-wise, we want to integrate from, well, when x is 0, let's find out when x is 0. When x is 0, y equals, when x equals 0, x equals 5. Well, y equals 10 when x equals 5. So for this equation, when x equals 0, y equals 0. And for this equation, when x equals 0, when x equals 5, y equals 10. So we see that we're going to be integrating from 0 to 10. Okay, so 0 to 10. So always remember to flip your x and y's if you're going to integrate uh, in, the different in terms of the different variable, the other variable. So we have 2 pi times our radius, which is y, times our height, which is y minus y over 2 dy. So we can rewrite that a little bit. 0, 10, y squared minus y squared over 2 dy, in other words, 2 pi times integral of from 0 to 10, uh, y squared minus 1 half y squared, so that means it's just 1 half y squared dy. And there's a look at the third method of solving for volumes of revolving solids uh, using a cylindrical shell with infinitesimal small uh, shell thickness. So once again, if we keep in our heads very, very clear and our picture is very clear about what the shape actually looks like and where our cylinder goes, uh, then we just go ahead and apply the formula uh, in a very straightforward fashion. 
Okay, thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next